and that we fight vaccine disinformation and exercise transparency to build vital public trust in these life-saving tools. What do you mean? How is he going to fight that? How? What does that mean? And where's the transparency? Yeah, no joke. Where is the transparency with us? I'm really curious. So the Clark County, Nevada, I told you that they they had this thing where we're going to absolutely we're going to we're going to fight disinformation. And I'm pulling this up. I had it in Substack. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 10 uh, points. And one of those was. They said, they wrote, quote, whereas misinformation has caused confusion and nationally has led to eligible people declining vaccines, rejecting public health measures, such as masking, physical distancing, and using unproven treatments. Wait, what do you mean unproven treatments? Are you talking about the vaccine? You shouldn't talk about the vaccine like that. What are you talking about? What? Oh, they're not talking about the vaccine. Oh. <laughs> no, and then you have, um, they also added that uh, da, 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 putting people, putting lives in risk, false information. They're trying to do, they want to say that misinformation is putting lives at risk, but they don't want to actually identify the misinformation. Totally legit, right? Transparency. Sounds so much transparency. Oh, my goodness. It's, yeah, except, except no. Mm-mm. There's not a lot of it. So this isn't about following science. None of this is. I just, I don't, I, how does that even, like, so they had their commissioner, Justin Jones. He's on Twitter with the hashtag, Justin, get the vax Jones. That is that, when, stop it. That's just so cringe. Stop. He's like the guy who wears brand new white new balances. Right? So he he put he posted on Twitter last night. And by the way, he could have actually just tweeted this, but he had to make a graphic for himself. And then he apparently has his own little badge. And it, you can barely see commissioner on it, but it says Justin Jones, this guy, clout chasing. So he has he says uh coronavirus has been a devastating impact. Well, I'm already tired from reading his statement. He says, it's important for our governing board to declare health misinformation as a public health crisis and commit to doing all we can to combat the falsehoods that continue to jeopardize the lives of our citizens, says Commissioner Justin Jones. These people's words are killing people. Because that's what I'm hearing when he says this. So what, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh, my gosh. And then you have, by the way, did you did you see the sign that Ted Lieu posted outside of his office? This is, he posted this sign outside of his office. He taped it like a stooge. It says, does the person you want to meet in my office have the virus? Do you have the virus? You don't know because none of us can see the virus with our naked eyes. And you don't know how the virus will interact with your body. Be humble and wear a mask because it's about humility as opposed to science, right? I mean, we've talked to you. I'm not going to do it again. The masks don't work. I love it. It's the deadliest virus in human history. Dun, dun, dun. Except it's not. But you only have to wear a little bitty cloth, piece of cloth over it. But if you play paintball where the particles are way bigger than that of the virus, Bum, bum, bum. You have to wear like a whole like gas mask looking thing. Huh. Because you know, science. This isn't science, this is stupidity. That, I mean, think about that though. The dead, it's the deadliest virus in history. You, pay, you play paintball, you got to wear the full mask with the filter air filtration. And then, if you're... What is it if you're like painting? You have to wear the full thing with the air filtration too? Yeah, if you're doing like auto painting. Woodworking? Of any kind, good Lord. Woodworking? We got to do that too? But it's the deadliest virus in history. That's why you should only wear this tiny little piece of fabric or cloth. We actually don't know what the hell this is. It probably was made in China. And uh, we don't know. It's probably entire. It even says it on the box. If you actually look on the box, 
do you want me to stop this program right now? Go into my cabinet of PPE that I've always had because I, ha I have it and I'm that person. And do you want me to show you on all of these boxes where it says not effective for like viruses? It said that even before the pandemic. No, but this virus is different, Dina. I mean, if you're spraying pesticides, we, we, uh, we had a, a person that lived on our road that sprayed their yard. They are also like apparently like super granola and crunchy, but yet they sprayed pesticides in their yard. I'm like, whatever. Enjoy your second head that you're going to sprout out of the crook of your neck while you eat your pesticide covered garden that was right there where everything was getting sprayed. Like, how dumb are you? Uh, but side, I, I, I digress. Uh, but their dude was wearing the thing. He was wearing the little thingy with the shield and all that. But it's the deadliest virus in history. So make sure you cover your face, this little piece of paper. Right? This doesn't make any sense. Now, if they were to come out and say, guys, this is dangerous. Those are not going to actually work. At least do an N95. I'd be like, oh, damn. They aren't. They're serious. They're not playing. They're actually being consistent. Right? Isn't that what you would think? But it's your fault because they're not consistent. How dare you? You're killing people because they're not consistent. Oh, <sighs> and then it's all, it's all your fault.